Hey, what's going on everyone? Before y'all check out this video, make sure you hit the subscribe button down at the bottom. We appreciate y'all for always showing us love and support. I hope y'all enjoyed this episode of Unfiltered Brothers and make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Y'all stay blessed. But well, welcome back to another episode of Unfiltered Brothers. Here you have your boy Derek. There you have your boy Joe. Yo, yo. There you have your boy Ford. What's up? How y'all boys been doing? I was doing good so I realized Ford had the same shirt on. Pretty good. It never fails. Yeah. I always <laughs> match. Somebody got to wear the same shirt. It, it, it never fails. I don't think we ever been on a uh, on an episode where all of us had different, all different shirts. I, I'm about to change my shirt, bro. Like. <laughs> it's too late for that, motherfucker. Well, they can't really okay. see it. Like, see, I'm going to hold it like this so they can't see. It's too late. We already mentioned it now. It's on camera. Oh. <laughs> y'all, uh, <laughs> y'all, uh, y'all peed that Floyd fight yesterday. I ain't paying no attention to that trash. Man. <laughs> but you see how much he made? It was, man, it was nah. Then he made a grip. He made yeah, a grip. He, he made bread from that. It was how like, much he made? Was it like ten mil off the rip? He made. I don't know. All together, he all, all them all together, he made close to a hundred mil. Oh, I knocked the hell out of y'all yeah. for ten mil or <laughs> ten mil I off think, the rip. Shit. I think he made ten <laughs> mil off the rip, and then he got fifty percent of all pay per view. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. like. Like all pay per view joints. Yep. So so he was getting twenty five a head, basically. That's why I like. I didn't buy it. Just to let you know, I didn't buy it. I oh, I didn't even buy it. <laughs> I didn't find the link or some shit. But I knew it wasn't gonna be like. I was I was wondering why it was a, a fight to start with anyway. So oh, because of the I, money. I, I didn't exactly. Yeah. So I didn't even go in with no uh, expectations, honestly. But I ain't. That shit was uh, it was alright, I guess. But I ain't really, I ain't really vibe with it though. I thought he was gonna knock him down or something. But apparently they said he like kind of like he 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 hit him, and I guess he did sleep him, but he like held him up. Oh, so, I saw that. So yeah, they that's something. Continue the fight. So that may that may be the case, but I ain't I ain't vouching for that either. I I thought it could have been better, but but speaking of fights though, um. Let's go into uh, what would you do, right? Oh man! <clears throat> so, coming to you first for it, what uh, would you do, right? So, your fiance <laughs> once uh, wants, wants you to prove your love to her, <laughs> right? <laughs> the only way she says you can't do that is to take two hooks. In the uppercut <laughs> from Mike Tyson. If you don't, she leaving you for him. What would you do? Okay, question. <laughs> Am I getting anything out of this deal other than two uppercuts? You getting you getting married, nigga. That's the that's the that's the fucking <laughs> <laughs> you getting you getting married. You keeping your you keeping your girl. That's that's what you're getting out this whole deal. Two hooks and an well, uppercut. No so I'm getting married with no teeth. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. I got a question. What's that? Okay. Is this prime Mike Tyson or is this like old I, Mike? You know, Tyson? honestly, I don't think it matters because it's Mike Tyson. I don't know. That motherfucker's that motherfucker, that motherfucker, that motherfucker still get, strong. I still would rather have now Mike Tyson versus prime Mike Tyson because that one was how about, the, how about the end of his career, Mike Tyson? No, nah, I'm still, that's too, that's still mm -hmm. too much. I tell you, my, now my thing because the problem might taste might try to bite my ear all too after he uppercut. So <laughs> I, 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 give, I give you the I give you the now my taste. I give you the now my taste. Now my taste. I give you the now my taste. Hmm. Damn. Them two uppercuts gonna hurt like don't hurt think, like hell. You think it too much, bro? Yeah, you that's all I'm gonna say. You but yeah, yeah. I, I I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, you you stupid! I, I, <laughs> I, 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 I tell, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because I'm used to my advantage. Every time, every time she's um say I don't love her or nothing, I'm gonna smile and show her my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> but it, but she knocked me out. But he knocked me out. Hey, I I ain't gonna cap. You might not wake up from the for the first up. Oh, I know I ain't wake up. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna wake yo, up, yo, I'm gonna wake yo, up yo, eventually yo. in the hospital. Yo, yo, yo. That first one. 
you know, not pull it out. Yeah. Before, before we're in the hospital, Michael put him in the You still can't do more. <laughs> he gonna wake up in the hospital bed with Mike Tyson on top of him. Like, you ready for the next one? <laughs> you ready for the second one? Hey, and this is gonna be a week later. <laughs> Yo, Mike done got his podcast and everything. It was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta knock this kid out again to show him that he loved this girl. Oh, what? Oh, I just got called from the hospital. They say he just woke up. I'll be, I'll be back. back. <laughs> I'll be back. Oh shit. Oh yeah, Man, that's tough. So yeah, I guess, ain't tough. I mean, ain't Joseph, tough. Joseph, fuck it. Yeah, bro. Because my thing is, if she really loved me, she wouldn't put me in a situation like that. That's all I'm gonna say. I feel that. <laughs> my thing is, so is she uh, gonna take two hits from? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she gonna take two hits from Mike Tyson? You know, I, I, I mean, hey. No, tell her take tell her take two hits from Layla Ali. Oh, I, see, I was thinking about I'll Layla, but, not, <laughs> but I want to go ahead and step it up. What was that? What was that girl name? She was on uh, in the UFC. Ronda uh, Ronda Rousey. Yeah. <laughs> I want to take uh, it. I want to take it from Ronda Rousey. Oh, that's gonna kill her. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's my Tyson here. Might might go hit man. Yeah, if you might not die, bro. You nah, might shit, shit. Bro, you, you hey, cause you ain't got no control once you fall. Bro, I'm gonna tell you one thing. The scary part about it is we completely untrained when it comes to boxing in general. So we, yeah. so our jaw, like all of this is like <laughs> this should go be all over the place, bro. It's it's done. Like I'm not ready for that. Like I haven't even fell and hit can my I, face too many times. Can I can I take can I take a choke slam from the Undertaker? Fuck nah, nah, because nah. wrestling fate. Right. That that choke slam ain't shit. Nah, that Mike Tyson hit though. That's gonna that's gonna, I, that's gonna knock the shit out you. Facts. But nah, I ain't taking that. I'm I ain't yeah, taking that nah. shit. Fuck that, bro. I'm, nah, because. First of all, for her to propose the idea to me, oh, that's that's ludicrous. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> wow. That's beyond me. God damn it. For her, for her to go through the efforts of setting up a deal with Mike Tyson and everything to get me punched just to prove that I love her. Yep. Okay. Yep. I walk away and let I, I guess it's gonna be Shonda Tyson. I'm gonna be like, <laughs> how, how did you get his, how did you get Mike Tyson number, first of all? That's the real yeah. question. I feel like <laughs> I feel like this was planned from the beginning. Like, like yeah, they already had something going on. Uh, they were setting you up from the jump. Nah, facts. facts. Well, you obviously have been messing with him already. That's this was just their way of getting together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They knew you were going to take that shit. Fuck, <laughs> fuck it. You can have him. You can have him. I ain't fucking with Mike. Yeah. Mike, Mike nah. kiss my ass. And, and he had and he had tigers as pets, man. That nigga crazy. I ain't fuck with Mike. <laughs> oh, I'll be fighting the tigers. Probably like mystical. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you see if you fight the bear, help, help the, the bear. bear. <laughs> that nigga's stupid. <laughs> fuck it. Oh uh, but right. man, but yeah, that's the I guess uh me and Joe, we safe. But for he gonna be in the hospital somewhere. Why so. why why y'all pick Mike Tyson? Why y'all ain't pick George for me? Cause I, Cause, Mike, Mike, <laughs> Cause it's Mike. Cause it's Mike. Cause we don't want we don't want the band to grill us a burger. We try to get Mike. Mike. <laughs> we ain't trying to get no healthy burgers, man. Right. <laughs> no, but this is like saying, do you want to get dunked on by MJ or do you want to get dunked on by Shaq? Yeah, like it ain't the same, bro. Like they both gonna dunk on you. But one is gonna be Shaq a gonna have you in the fucking in the in the bleachers, nigga. Hey, I'm gonna tell you right now. I I, I feel like MJ's dunk would be more disrespectful, but I feel like that Shaq dunk gonna hurt. Like no, that's man. that's gonna put damage on you. <laughs> Shaq gonna make sure you through the through the ground. Probably gonna break the goal. Break uh, the goal once again. <laughs> yeah, so I ain't gonna that it. But that's all. Uh, that's that's the answer. So. But we're going to move into our main topics of this episode, kind of focusing around race, racism, and whatnot. So starting off, uh, I'm going to come to you first, Joe. And this is a question that I brought up um, on, a, on a previous episode, and I just wanted to expand on the question because I feel like it would have been a, a great topic. So can Black people be racist? Nope. 
<laughs> don't look like that, nigga. <laughs> you look like a motherfucker from uh, what's it, Rocket Power? Oh, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I don't know. Define racism. I got you. Someone that's racist is I got a root name right here. Someone who racist is is a prejudice towards a person or people on the basis of of their membership in a particular racial or ethnic group, typically one that is a minority or marginalized. And if you don't know what marginalized is, I got that down for you too, because I know how motherfuckers is. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) Marginalized. And I'm one of them. Is a person, (laughs) person, group, or concept treated as insignificant. I knew what marginalized means. I did. That's why you got to be prepared. That's why they got to be prepared for shit like this. So technically, I don't. So I'm technically I'm gonna say no. Okay. Because on the basis of when black people be judging white people, they ain't marginalized. So technically. We not being racist. We just noticing things. Nah, I'll just play. Hell yeah, but we could be racist as hell. <laughs> we, we be racist as hell. Okay. Our favorite line: "That's the white people shit." <laughs> that's not racist. That's stereotyping. That's just stereotyping. Bro, it could be. But I don't think. I don't think you can be racist towards white people. Cause it's like they're not marginalized. Like that's that whole, that's that, that's that, that big point right there. Like you can be prejudiced. Oh, that's definitely prejudice. But right. racism is almost more. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not evil, but malicious in the in its intent. If that makes sense. Like, right. like it's one thing to be prejudiced, uh, and it's another thing to be prejudiced out of ignorance. Because you may not know that a particular race is the way they are. Because you're not in their culture and in their mindset, but it's a whole different story when you're like, like racist and you like you you genuinely don't like something or like some, like something about somebody because of like the color of their skin. Right. What about you, Ford? <sighs> yes and no. Why yes? Because. I've known what it's not a few of them, but I've known some black people who's who's like I, I don't know if you would call it racist against their own kind or just oh the uncle ruckus yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah like they they won't go to they they won't go to a black doctor they they won't they won't do this with black people at all. They always down in black people. But I'm like, you're black too. So, but then like, why are you giggling, bro? Because I, because it's like, I hate like, that's like a whole nother episode. <laughs> just, just going in on those like, type of people. Like the, the, like the states. I want to hold, I want to hold my comments to myself. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Like the like the Stacey Dashes out there, like you black, but you 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 like the one that support Donald Trump. Basically, put it like that. But are they? But are they black? I mean, are they black? <laughs> are they <laughs> are they racist? <laughs> like you can you can align with a political party or a person of a political party because of the same ideals. That doesn't really make you racist, though. Because I think like what, I think too. What you realize, I think when it comes to Trump, though, like. <laughs> Not all. I really believe Trump supporters are not Republicans. I truly believe like that's a whole different crowd. You know what I'm saying? Like, so you see motherfuckers just coming out the woodworks like when election time came. Like, I feel like that's a whole different party. You know what I'm saying? He wanted to. Start, he he wanted to. He wanted to start a different party anyway, but. I, I disagree because I feel like, and the reason I do is because you have people that's on the far left and you have people that's on the far right. So it's like, I don't know what you, that mean. you, uh, <laughs> you may be, uh, I don't like, I don't, I don't, I don't pay attention. Listen, I don't pay attention to that shit. All that so, shit. Is uh, stupid to me. Okay. So, like, 
a hardcore conservative will be somebody for like gun laws, anti-abortion. Um, like that's pretty much that's far left. Thing. What's that? Far yeah, left? yeah, yeah. I, I look. I, I'm making myself. <laughs> I believe. I believe. Right. Hey, you went to school for conservatism. I, hold on. Let me. I'm gonna look it up. Don't worry about it. Um, but I believe right is for conservatism, and then left is for um, left is for uh, liberal. If I'm not right, uh, hold on real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, um, well, and, and then you got to realize that far right and far left also, like, when on a political spectrum, you can uh, broaden it even further into like dictatorships and everything like that. But for the sake of the conversation, one side is like, you know, uh, gay, like, you know, gay rights, abortions, uh, like stuff like that. Right. That's more liberal. And then you got the rights that are like super conservative, like I was mentioning. And like those people that you talk about coming up to Woodward, I don't think that they're so, I don't think there's so much as racist. I think they're more or less just people that don't like change. So they would much rather, Donald Trump to me represented an individual that was just like, didn't, outside of other things, just didn't want change. Cause you know, like he was preaching there. All, I mean, he wasn't preaching, but he made his stance on a lot of things that people that on that believe what he believes. Uh, you know, he, he that's how he made his stance. Like that's how he made the thing. But anyway, I got you for it. That. Gotcha. Finish what you were saying for it. Yeah, my bad for it. We got on that tangent. Oh, like, yeah. <clears throat> but like, it's like people that black people that didn't want Barack Obama president just because he was black, and I'm like. Why? Wow. Ain't no Negro be in the White House. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> <Their face. laughs> that shit caught me off guard. My fuck. <laughs> hey, just like it was this past election, they didn't want to vote for Joe Biden because he had a black woman, even though she won't fully black, but they had a she had a he had a black woman, you know, as running no mate. Negro be in the White House. I don't told you that twice. <laughs> but but she in the White House, been had two of them in the White House thus far. If it was if it was up to me, <laughs> they wouldn't be in the White House. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> stupid. You were stupid. But 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 yeah, I've I've seen cases where you know I've I've known people be me to school with one. I'll tell y'all after the episode. But um, yeah, that person was they they showed me their truth. True feelings toward black people, and it took me by surprise. But I mean, then I thought all about. It, I was like, I should have seen it coming, but I never thought that you should <laughs> you should attend at a Longwood University. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, but I never I never thought it could but be like that. But I mean, it is a south. It is. It is out there. It's Prince Edward County. We already know the history. Yeah of the county and whatnot so those principles and whatnot can be passed down to yeah it's it, you know, it's kind of like they brainwashed whoa whoa wait time out time out time out time out stop hold the thought you mean it was a black person that no that we went to school with yeah oh you said black person oh yeah i mean it makes mm -hmm. sense yeah i ain't surprised by anything anymore honestly yeah yeah, yeah. but my answer is uh like like Joe was saying at first, technically no, just based just based off the definition, I say no just because like how like, we gonna put you down? Racism. You ain't even been down. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Racism, <laughs> uh, racism is like is like deeply rooted, and it's like it's when someone is it's like showing one is superior over the, another. And it all comes down to power, in a sense. And like black people, a lot, several black people, you know, hate you know white people or any other race or whatever. But it's not, it's not for that reason though. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I can't say, I can't say black people can be presidents as a motherfucker because we we've, we've all seen that. Like I've seen, like. Them motherfuckers be hating white people low key and high key. 
you know what I'm saying? We see it all the time. <laughs> Low key and I, like we see that we see that shit all the time. And, and it's like um it's like some shit I seen. It's like um I don't know if y'all seen it, but it was on <clears throat> it was on IG. Uh people uh just like like black women come before yo yo Gotti because of his video that he just that he just dropped. I think that's the name. Oh, we dropped. I think that's, I think, the, I think that's the name of the song actually. But it's like a video. But most of the most of the women that's in there is like white or some type of another, you know, race or whatever. But it wasn't a lot of black. It was some black people, uh, black women in there. But, oh, oh, you know, oh, but it was it was you know people come in like uh, it's, it's not enough uh, <laughs> melatonin, melatonin in there. You know, what I'm saying not enough black women. I, I, don't, I don't rock with that. Like it's his money. Like I don't understand why. Like that's the issue. Like y'all, uh-uh, really, y'all that's really. Not true. What, what the mm. fuck he mean? is his money? That's the fuck it is true. Like he could mm. pay, he could pay who he's married. I'm I'm pretty sure he's married to a black woman. So I, I think everything. Don't mean nothing. What the fuck do we mean, then, Joe? This is not unfair argument. So we not about to do this. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I do disagree with you though. Like why? Hard. Why though? Because I feel like like as black entertainers, uh, one okay, yeah, I get it. It's his money, but like. But he done gave us down in the DM. He done gave us. Uh, oh, he didn't give us shit. We paid for that. Don't do that. So I'm saying artists gave us stuff, bro. We pay for that. We what you mean? He we didn't pay, we pay him to, to write that song? Bro, he, just because he writes a song does not mean he does not get money made off that. What are you talking about? I'm not about? saying that, like, he, the videos and everything in the past. All does he around, not make all that, around the does culture. He not make that for bread? It's he all around, it for us. It's all around the culture. Oh, so down the DMs is is a black national anthem now. That's what you're saying. That's what that, that's the song we should hold dear to our hearts. Nah, let that voice Shut the fuck up, fool. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my friend, though. <laughs> but no, nah, bro. I mean, like, I don't think there's nothing wrong with like you want to be because 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 black. I feel like black women aren't represented in culture like in today's culture at all. So he could he could have he could have he could put out a hundred he could put out a hundred music videos with all black women, but he put one he put one video out with mostly light skinned white women, and then it's a problem. But what about those? What about those? But has he? But has he done that though? Like I'm, pre- I'm already- pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh, all right, if you I'm can prove sure. to me that he has made videos with multiple brown skinned to dark skinned women, keep talking. Then I'll believe what you're saying. But then until then, I'm gonna keep my argument of I think they have a right to say what they gotta say. Oh, oh I do okay, okay. My all right, I'm gonna ask you a question, right? All right. Let's uh-huh. say, let's say uh I gotta think of somebody for instance, somebody that we rock with. Uh I can't think of no female artists right now. Uh freak. Next time. All right, let's use Meg. All right, we'll use Meg. I was I didn't want to use Meg because I didn't really. I don't, I'm not a Meg fan, so I don't know what Meg put in the video. But all right, cool. Let's say Meg only had. I ain't a fan of music either. I'm just fan of her. <laughs> let's say Meg <laughs> only has light skinned dudes and white dudes in her videos, mm-hmm. and she makes a whole video of like people on the spectrum of the color scale, and she only includes light skinned and white people. Does that not create the narrative of that she don't rock with brown skin, dark skin dudes? Just that one time, or if she constantly does that, I can give it to you. I guess, I guess on that one occasion. But was there? I think the the other question, or the other problem is, was there dark skin to brown skin women that came to the audition that wasn't picked for an obvious reason? Because, and I, I think it's more along the lines of like the like not the damage but like how brown skin to dark skin people especially darker skin people feel about themselves um in their skin like like i don't think it's right for us to like you know say like they're wrong for how they feel because if they've always been never represented in the in the in the limelight of the media then they would you know they never then they i think they got a right to feel a little bit upset about that because you know that's the argument, but that's the argument that you know, um, like you know, homosexuals was having about media. You know, they say that hey, we're some of the writers and the people that's on this, that's creating this media, but we're not represented. 
Like I think it's the thing of representation that bothered them. Well, I think I think with that crowd though, with that, with those with the LGBTQ yeah, it's true, community, man. it's like unless you openly, you know, I see the I would see the issue, but it, it, you got to understand once again, there's still a lot of people that's in the closet. So you you can't really you can't really you can't really we can't really talk about it. we can't really talk. So about you're that. saying so you're saying that since we don't know that gay we can't apply them in okay. media like that because we don't know how many of them is actual gay. Right. But is it? But because they're not it, in the closet. You could, it, some people may not be fully in the closet, but they may have a relationship with people that just keep in their secret or whatever, and you see them in these videos or whatever. And then maybe a year or something down the road, then they'll come out um, lesbian or gay or whatever, you know, whatever they are. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know the right terminology, so if I offended anybody, I apologize. I, I was going to say LGBTQ. Did I forget the letter? I think, no, that's true. I, think I was going to say that, but then I didn't want to butcher it and I didn't want to do it. So if I use the wrong terminology, I apologize. But I just, I think it's more but, along the lines of just representation. But that's obvious. I, I, I understand that, but. I don't know. I, that, I think this is a conversation we already had before, so I ain't gonna go too much. Have we? You know, just about talk, colorism? Not colorism, but just kind of like I think when I proposed the question last time of like, do is it necessary for us to include other races in you know in our community or whatever to get further along or whatever stuff like that? Oh, okay. okay you know okay. what I'm saying? But, but I'm gonna still stand by my answer saying I don't think black people can be racist, but they can be prejudiced like a motherfucker. And then, oh yeah, with racist though, it's like you gotta understand that 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 led to like the 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 wealth gap that we have, the 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 poverty, the the housing situation that like the 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 number of black people that's incarcerated today. You know what I'm saying? So we, yeah, that's. Yeah, that's not us. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we yeah, we can't definitely be presidents like a motherfucker. But racism, that's that's a whole different thing. And once again, that's not inherited, that's that's taught. So and if you teach somebody that you're superior over to uh, another one, you know, fuck those people. But once again, it, it's 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 people out there, you know what I'm saying? It's white people out there or any other race that's out there that don't follow those principles. So, you know, I support those people, you know what I'm saying, but I don't. I think what Joe was talking about, we could definitely talk about that on on another another episode or after the arguments. One of those. Hey, 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 hey. you always adjust stuff for my sake. <laughs> but next question, <laughs> uh, next question, I wanted to uh, ask y'all: Is there a moment uh, where you like hated or felt like you couldn't trust white people? Oh yeah. What was that? Yeah. Like, give me some. Oh. Give, give me some examples. Uh, four, you can go first. Or do you like it? Huh? No, I was saying you go first. Oh, yeah. Yeah, on my previous job, like, I had, you know, reported an incident. I ain't gonna go too much because, you know, I'm still working with the agency. But um, I re- reported an incident and, you know, administration all white but the person i reported on was black and because you know the incident was towards me and i felt unsafe you know working so i reported it and i guess because you know i'm black and by me not being with the agency long enough and i hadn't i hadn't been there i think it was maybe what six months and they all ignored it and made me made it like I was the crazy one. And all they did was instead of they, you know, fixing the problem then and there, they decided to just, oh, we're going to get rid of him and transfer him somewhere else. So like that made me not, you know, not only not trust, you know, upper management, but not trust, white people because you know at that point because they was like when I first got that oh we'll um we'll make sure you're all right we 
you can come talk to us about anything, but like, okay, when I come talk to y'all, it's like a whole different story. So, watch you, Joe. Oh, it was during the uh, protest. I mean, he's been other incidents throughout my life that probably have caused me not to like that or like feel that way, but it was most definitely the protest. Is it is it is it leaning more towards the hate side or just the distrust side? Oh no, it was it was both. Um, but that was that was more out of anger, mm-hmm. you know, because so at, and, and social media, like mm-hmm. because social media paints a bad picture a lot of the time when you on it, you know, you you can have. All right, let's okay. I'll give you an example. Uh, I went to school. Oh, to you with these, uh, you know, uh, you know, white people that I was cool with and stuff like that, and they were for the protest. They understood it, you know. Some participated, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But then that was overshadowed by, you know, you get on Twitter and you and you see this one racist comment that's got twelve thousand likes. Everybody don't liked it. Everybody don't retweeted it, and you're like, you're only focusing on the negative. And um. A good portion of the year, I, I focused more on the negative than I did the positive. Instead of being like, okay, well, you know, there's just some bad apples. A lot, uh, you know, I tried to be an understanding person, but it was just more towards that, that anger and that hate. You just like, man, I can't stand them. Like, bro, like, you know, it's always something they don't get us. Like, like every time we just be trying to live our lives, here they come. You know, it's it was it was a lot of that, and then I was just like, forget them. And um, but no, I mean, you know. After uh, after I got out of that mindset, after that I got, uh, I took a break from social media for a while, and I was just like, okay, like calm down, like you know, it ain't that deep. I mean, it is that deep, but it's like you don't, they're not, you know, not everybody's bad, you know, not everybody's good, but not everybody's bad, so you can't, you can't be mad. At them. So that it was like that. What about you, Derek? Uh, I think for me, it's like um, I don't think it takes a lot. For me to like hate somebody so i can't really say i hate somebody i say i do i do say i do a couple of times on here i did say like i hate like uh <laughs> tommy tommy yeah um i don't i don't hate her because i don't know her but i, I do strongly dislike her just because of her views and everything like that but it's yeah i don't necessarily hate and I, I never said i never saw myself hate a white person for any reason but distrust yes um, I think like what Joe was saying, like you know, we we all went through 2020, and I think just seeing Ooh. seeing all the the social injustice and everything that we witnessed, not even even before 2020, just throughout our lifetime or whatever, we kind of uh, formed a certain perception of white people, you know, and mm-hmm. kind of caused that um, distrust. But I think for me personally, it's like probably like the environments that I've been in. Um, I would consider myself like a very observant person. And like, I always notice my environment and wherever I'm at and everything like that. I think over years, I don't like kind of develop like the ability to like notice things, even when I, I think God didn't mean to pick those things. Oh, here he go. <laughs> oh, my name, my name there. I got a sixth sense. I can just Shut sense stuff. Up. You right? No, 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 no cap, yeah, bro. Oh. No cap. But no, nah, nah, I'm for real. I'm for real though. I'm for real. Nah, I, I like, get what you're saying. No, nah, I'll just nah. say I get what you're saying. But it's yeah. like it's like being, it's like when I was like in a certain room with some people, like they would say some shit that they would think would like fly over my head. But it's like nah, I caught that, and it was like some very stereotypical type shit. You know, saying towards yeah. black people, or it's like when you when you do talk about twenty twenty, and you do talk like I gave people chances when it came to like Trump supporters because once it was, oh nah. no not like at, at the beginning no nah, I get you yeah you know what I'm saying because there's political views everybody have different political views and whatnot but then like you just it just it just started getting crazy so I'll be like yeah nah, I can't I can't rock with you. And it was one time, it's like, it was like this girl um, I went to school with or whatnot. Um, you know, we would, I, w- I wouldn't say we was close, but we was, we was, we was friends in a sense. I don't want to put too much information out there because people wouldn't know, but mm-hmm. it was like, 
you know, I, I was rocking with her and whatnot. And then, like, we kind of fell off. And then on on social media or whatnot, she would, after Trump lost or whatever, you know, people continue to share different stuff of the, the, the election was rigged or whatnot. But I think that what, what, what was my final straw in me just, like, unfollowing her on, like, all social media platforms is, like, you know how you know how people they love to lean like certain people certain white people love to lean towards like the Candace Owens and the other black people that lean you know lean more towards mm -hmm. the Republican Party or not so the post that sh that they they shared was like we can't forget about these you know African Americans uh, you know when it when it, in regards to like black history right I understand if it was my thing about the post was that they created it in March. February was already over. You know what I'm saying? And I go to her page and she has nothing posted about black history for the whole month. So I'm like, nah, I can't. You know what I'm saying? Like shit like that. Is, you see who people truly are. Or when you, you go to a, a PWI like myself um you know what i'm saying you go to those predominantly white parties and you kind of you get you get treated differently from everybody else that's in the party you know what i'm saying like you have those cases or you just or like me myself i think i showed y'all the video before of my sophomore year me aaron and my dean dj we was uh all in the student union um talking or whatever and we walk in the um we walk in the room I didn't notice it at first, but I looked back, I was like, yo, this a noose hanging from this door. You know what I'm saying? So we, we, was, we were like the first people to find a noose hanging from the door. So it's like, like, I didn't expect, like, I kind of expected because it's, it's Farmville, we know the history, but it's like, I didn't really, I couldn't put my head around it because I was like, damn, like, like, who the fuck put a noose right here? So it's like, nah, I, can, I don't know if I could I could, I could rock with, you know what I'm saying, rock with these people around here, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of, that kind of put the distrust, you know what I'm saying, in me, in me when it comes to those people like that. Just a, some of the things that I've experienced, some of the things that I've seen and everything like that. So, so you know, stuff like that is like, I don't know, man, that shit tough. And I can't, I don't know, I can't really, I can't really forgive people for certain shit, you know what I'm saying? So I, I see, I see it what it is. Uh, you go on your way, I go my way. We don't have to associate at all. We cross paths in the future. Let it be it. But for now, nah, we we can go our separate ways. But yeah, shit like that just made me distrust. You know, some white people. I, I got I got a lot of great white people in my life now. You know, yeah. and I, I want to put that out there. But just some of those situations that I've been through, and just being in I mean some of those environments. I mean, you got to, like, you gotta think about it, bro, like, think about the story of Emmett Till and, like, how many, like, you know, that boy lost his life because of the fact somebody that lied. somebody lied. lied. I mean, when you, you possess the power to end a life because you of what you say and you don't get the privilege that you have, I don't understand why you don't understand the frustration behind what we be saying. Like, this ain't this ain't like you saying that you saying that something happened and then the only thing that happens is maybe you get maybe cussed out or fussed at or something like like you people lose their lives over you know over what somebody lost their life over because that woman lied and then but on her like on like in her later years she comes out and is like oh I lied. So my thing is how many people like the, the guys that knew the guys that did murder him knew that she lied like people around her knew she lied like a lot of people knew she lied i don't care what no one said it's not like she held that secret in for the rest of her life but i don't think that's exactly even, i don't even think that's even a even a bad part because even if she lied or didn't lie the system knew that i mean the system yeah. knew, the system knew what they did to emmett too mm -hmm. they still let all of them off you know what i'm saying and and that's the and that's the thing that I think that that you know when it gets down to like we talk about Emmett Till, we talk about Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, you know 
uh, Central Park Five. You know, it's like it's like like why am I naming names? Why do I have more than one occasion? Like it, it's crazy because it's like you paint us. And when I say you, I'm talking about those people that do it. You paint us in this bad light. You paint us in this evil picture. You paint us as the thugs, the hoodlums, the reason that the economy is down, the reason that stuff be messed up. But like, like y'all do some of the, the grimiest of the grimy. Like for real, for real, black people really just be out here trying to live, bro. Like that, like not even trying to be funny. Like you, if you don't go in the hood, you have <laughs> you have no problem. It's not like black people bring the hood to you. You build your exactly. communities around the hood. And then try to figure out, you know, well, I don't know why my dog got shot because you live a block down from the hood. You know, you you put these people in this cage, you and then you just try to figure out, you know, hey, that's that's a topic. <laughs> that's a topic. Hey, I'm going hey, to say that's a topic. You got to understand, bro. Like we didn't, we like you were saying, like black people ain't put themselves in 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 those environments. And, we, and, we, and, we, and especially when you talk about the drug issue, as yo, you know, damn, eighties and shit like that, they pit those, they pit those shits in the community. We didn't have that shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they bombed, they bombed, oh, they bombed, bombed a whole legit area where people were living, thriving. You know, people were just going about their days. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say my comments on that for, but yeah. For yeah, but um, I'm, I'm gonna go in on that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go ahead. All right, I'm gonna start talking to you. Go ahead. Oh, but nah, you 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 bring a good point though. Uh, that we kind of kind of transition into our uh, another, our next question is: Do you do race? You know, what I'm saying play play a factor in, in in your friendships and the decisions that you make. Yes, yes. Uh, from micro to macro, like from big to small, like. You know, it's um, you know, like that trust isn't there. I mean, but you know, it's not like I think. I think white people think that we look at other black people and it's automatic like that. Like it's like, oh yeah, that's my yeah, that's my dude. Like blah blah blah. And I'd be like, bro, no, we don't. I don't. I don't it's not. I don't think it's like that. Where it's not like that. But at the same time, it's like you kind of we we are all connected in in a way. Yeah, through trauma. Yeah. And you that's why I, 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 I swear I was just about to say that. Like, I we look at each other and we get it. Mm. It can be it can be fifty it can be fifty people in a room, and forty eight of them could be white. And the two black people, if they if they black black, if they ain't no Uncle Tom black and you know all the other stuff, but if they black black, they can look at each other and be like, and the other one do, and then or or, or the famous one, and the other dude be like. <laughs> it's all it's off the rip. We hey, you get you already know. And I, I think it's like like we're connected through our trauma and our struggle. So of course we're gonna understand the other. And I think that like you gotta understand that this and y'all because you know they rock the same way too. I gotta I gotta, I, I, gotta right. I gotta show y'all a video. It was shared on Facebook. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure if Ford if you've seen it or not, but Oh, you was, know I ain't seen it. Yeah, I know you ain't. I'm, I'm gonna have to put it in a in a chat or something. But it, it was like a video of like four or five white people in a room, and you know how you have the uh, I don't I forgot what they call, but it's it's ranged from like uh, strongly disagree to strongly agree. I forgot what mm-hmm. that what's that shit called, but they would just ask them questions like a survey. It's not. It's in a sense, yeah. In a sense, it's a survey okay. kind of sense, but. They was asking them questions in the video, and they had to line up in the middle first, and then whatever, whatever they think the question is, they they move over to like strongly agree or whatever. But it, it kind of points out, you know, some of the things that you was um that you was saying and whatnot, just how you know we are connected in a sense. But a guy made a good point, and he kind of he kind of said the same thing that we just said mm-hmm. um in the, in that video, but because they was kind of like. When you see a white person, do you feel like a connection? And he was like, eh, "No." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying it's like it's no really connection there. Mm-hmm. But when you talk about like, I mean, I ain't gonna say that because I don't know. But I'm saying I'm just going by what they said in the video. But me as a black person, y'all as a black person, we can look at another black person without even saying shit, and we can say a thousand words and just know where the fuck we coming from. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. 
That's it. And then, if you're a worldly person, you get that sixth sense, like you was mentioning earlier. Like you get, you pick up on the vibe and the energy. Like you can tell when someone is genuine versus when someone is just malign, like malicious. Mm-hmm. And um, it's crazy because mm-hmm. I think that um, white people don't understand that black people have to learn this skill very early on so that way we can become successful and move through our life. And it's crazier that 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 all that is simply our connection right there. Like black Twitter, <laughs> hey, one of the greatest inventions of social media. That's a different universe in itself. <laughs> Wrong. Let me tell you something. You can post almost anything on black Twitter, whether you are nerd black, black black, or like, I mean, like hood black, nerd black, or just whatever. It's like we all had the same childhood in some so, way, shape, or form. I say the same shit. I'm like, did we live the same life? But just didn't like, did, did you live right. in the street? Yeah, like. <laughs> it was like, and, and, and it transcends culture, like, like country versus like city. Like whether you've been introduced to like, you know, you go, you went overseas when you were young or you stay in your area while you was young. It's going to be something that you connect with that person on that is, 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 it's amazing. And I'm like, I know, like, I don't, I don't know why we are made to feel like that's wrong when, when they do the same thing, like. Like it's like it's like almost like being black is wrong, and that's why I feel like it impacts our decisions. Like they they make us feel like being black is wrong. So how we move is wrong. How we move, we got to think about how we talk. We have to think about like they like they like you can't even wear certain hairstyles. You can't we can't go into a job and just say uh, like you know speaking bonics. We got to talk proper. But then that's being associated with talking white. And then that gets looked at like, we'll never talk. Like, you know, it's, it's a whole thing. It's so, it's so complicated and intricate on how they made us feel about ourselves that they'll never understand that that's our connection right there. As simple as that. Right. But, oh, so. What about you, Alfred? Well, yeah. Right now, no, I really don't come in contact with that many white people. Now, now that I'm at, especially now that I'm at the new facility, well, I got like one white co-worker. But just based, based off your, based off your, like your past though, like. Based off my past? Yeah, like just some, you know, the past experience from like the white people, how you interact with white people and everything like that. I mean, I haven't felt a connection with any of them, but I've, picked up on vibes with like what some were being genuine and some was being like you a nigga you don't know shit I know more than you do oh yeah and so yeah and like like but when but like when I started for instance like I mean I got my degree in culinary arts and pastoral management and so when I started, you know, talking food service, they was like, oh, you, you, you do know that. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. I'm, like, I'm black, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not stupid. <laughs> like, I, 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 there, is some edu- there is a lot of educated black people out here. Like, yeah, for real. So, like. <laughs> it's almost like you always got to prove yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm and sorry. like, it's. It's like why we ha- why should we have to prove ourselves when I mean they never had to prove themselves. Ooh, <laughs> that's a topic for another day. Yeah, <laughs> like, let me go ahead right why, there. Why, why, why we got to prove ourselves in the country that we built, that Ooh. our ancestors built? Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, hey, <laughs> hey. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't understand it. Ooh, you talking my shit now, boy? I, can't, I got. I boy, see y'all later. Wait till, we get, there, boy. Hey, wait till we get to un, unfit the arguments, bro. Because I got some for your ass. No, oh, man. I, I, I agree. To, I agree to all of that. I think but they I, ain't do numbers. They ain't do numbers. Steal and kill. Mm. Hey, mm, 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 stepping man. on toes now. You stepping on toes now. Woo. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
All I right, Nick Cannon. I lean. I, <laughs> I lean. Yeah, I think I lean more towards yes. I could say yes. This no, episode get get aired. I'm gonna get fired. Yeah, nah, you be all right. But it's like it's like <laughs> it's like that. Listen, if I ain't get fired yet, you ain't gonna get fired. Because <laughs> I didn't say a lot. Of- <laughs> True. <laughs> but um, it's like that national instinct that we have around certain people. You know what I'm saying? It's like you're not gonna act the same. In, in corporate America than you do at the corner store. You know what I'm saying? Your your music, your music selection gonna be different in, in at an office party than it is at a at a kickback. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Which oh <laughs> Little oh, bit depends different. on who in the Little office with you though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But I'm like, yeah, that's true. Huh? But yeah, but uh, yeah. I, mean, I, I think Joe mentioned it before. It's like you kind of, you kind of watch what you say, um, a little bit around white people, and you kind of at the same time you kind of pay attention. To, you kind of pay attention to what they say, as well, mm-hmm. especially when you when you discussing things like social issues and and whatnot. You know, what I'm gotta saying? pay attention to especially facial expressions too. All of that, and like you're saying, yeah. you saying, you pick up you pick up on vibes easily. You know what I'm saying? Like you can tell when somebody is like trying too hard for no reason. You know what I'm saying? Just, just be, just be. You know what I'm saying? Be calm. We can have a, a civil, co- civil conversation, and and that's that. You don't have to. You don't have to relate to me off off the rip. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to relate to me at all. Actually, like <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We be, as, yeah. You don't have to relate to me at all, and then we can understand each other where we come from. And then we could build on that relationship. Don't try to act like you know me or know what I've been through off the rip when you don't. You know what I'm saying? And I think that would I think that would gets me the most, you know what I'm saying? When they when they try to um when people try to do that. But yeah, I I think I think it do it shouldn't, but in the in the world where well, I would say the world, but in the country that we live in, in the times we live in, I, I think it it definitely plays a part in the relationships that we have and the decision that we make, especially when you're talking about being around 12. You know what I'm saying? We just, oh, that, yeah. that goes back to the mm-hmm. trust. And that goes back to the trust thing. We can't really, yeah, can't really trust you. Yeah. So, any, any you got something else to say about that? Yeah. Nah, you don't. I, I, <laughs> you don't. I, 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 <laughs> shut the fuck up. But last, <laughs> last topic. This should be a, a interesting one. Um, and this, you know, this been something that's been discussed around the black community for a while now, especially those that have good, close white friends or just they got they know people, white people that loves the culture. The black culture and everything that we stand for and everything like that. How do you feel about white people using nigga? Nah, they can't use it. Right. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. You know, I know it's some people out there. It's like, oh, it's okay. Blah blah blah. That's that's fine. That's cool. But I feel like if a white person uses the word, they don't really respect your culture. They don't really respect you as a black person. They don't really love you, uh, love your culture, as Derek was saying, or love you for the fact. The word was was rooted in hate. Like, it was rooted in hate, and we made it our thing. We, we. You took the words we, out of my mouth, boy. We. <laughs> we. You took the words out of my we, mouth. We. Like, <laughs> like, we made it our thing. You need to respect our history on that. Simple as that. I have white friends now that don't say the word, won't say the word, and they've and, and they've explicitly made it known that they respect me and you know our our friends. Like, no, it's not okay. So for you to feel like you want to say the word, I feel like you just are somebody that and I, and I really don't give a fuck who hears it or who thinks it. If you want to say the word that badly. You don't really give. You don't really care about us and our struggles. You just want to hop on. You just want to like. You just you you want us like that prize trophy. You know what I'm saying? That's what we are to you. That token child. 
You just want us to have around you so that way people don't think that you're racist or prejudiced or whatever. You don't really care about our struggle and what we go through. You don't really care about how we feel about anything. Because for you to even think about saying that word and think that it's okay for you to say it shows me that you don't give a damn about me. Mm. And that's just how I feel about it. No, you can't say it. Simple as that. Watch you for it. <laughs> Hell no, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Oh, that's <laughs> God damn. I agree with everything Joe said because, like, wow. Hold <laughs> on oh, no, now. First of all, don't lump in with you. I ain't say I was gonna kill nobody. <laughs> hey, I didn't God, say dude. that I was gonna murder anybody. I want God. that to be a disclaimer. <laughs> You right there. Yeah, you gotta warn us, man. Boy, said it's so nonchalant. Hey, four, 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 four pulled up to me to the shootout. <laughs> yeah. Four, 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 the guy's name, but it was like three, three, uh, three white people in the room, and they was like writing down different slang, like black people slang, and they was practicing. This was I on see. Twitter, and then the black dude came in, right, and he was like, "What y'all doing?" And then he pulled up a chair, <laughs> and he said, "Damn," and then um, dude was just like, he was he was about to spill the beans or whatever, but he was about to say uh the n word, well nigga, I'm gonna say nigga, but they said the n word in the in the video, but he was like, "Go ahead, say it, say it." <laughs> And then, they, and then, like it's like one of those videos where it's like you you're in the scene, and then they'll go to you, they give you a solo, you know, what I'm saying you talk at the camera. So he was like, you know, <laughs> so I forgot, the, I, I forgot the exact words, but he was like, he was like, he was he was talking, and he was like, you know, I keep it on me, <laughs> and he pulled the gun. Out. <laughs> That's how four was. That's how four was at that moment. <laughs> I gotta find that video. That shit was stupid. Yeah, because I like that. that that's like that's like the uh, high disrespect. Like you can't tell me that you that you're not racist, but say nigga. I never seen. I never heard a white person. I've heard white people say nigga, but I never heard them say nigga. Like what's up, my nigga? It was always like nigga in a disrespectful way. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, nah, nah. That's that's not yours to say. Leave that to us. That's us. We used to yeah, call y'all like, Rocket Dope. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been another uh, episode. <laughs> yeah, I put some brothers. I was like, yeah, I put some brothers. You got you to gotta cut to my face on this part. Yeah. <laughs> it's going it's to be a, it's a after, make sure it's clip it in right here after you said that too. It'll be like, yeah, I put the brothers. Do not come up racism of any kind, of any way. <laughs> like, like it's gotta be a disclaimer message it gotta right be. there. <laughs> Boy, stupid. Oh man, are you I'm done? Or you oh, I'm sorry. You can't say the R word. You can't say the R word. That boy, so so wrong. Right. Oh, you done? <laughs> no, no, no. But, 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 this is a disclaimer. I I don't say crap. <laughs> I, I, mean, I don't. Oh, that was a little jokey joke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we gonna we gonna. We gonna say Ford is wrapped up because he's been, yo he's been off the chain. Um, I'm proud of you. Though. I'm here for it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm proud of you. Though. I'm proud of you though. Oh shit! Keep it, but, um, keep it. <laughs> I like that energy, but um, I ain't. I'm, I'm gonna try to. Uh, I'm gonna try to just say this saying because uh, Joe I'm took the words out. And just get here. Joe Joe took the words <laughs> out my mouth. Don't use this shit. Uh, you know we we know what the words came. From. We know what the word you know originally came from. And it's like black people know how to make I don't know, black people know how to turn negatives into positive. You know what I'm saying? It's like they they embrace this word. And it's kind of like with the word, uh it's kind of like with bitch, right? You know what I'm saying? You don't you don't call no female no bitch unless it's a, unless you're a female friend or you put bad in front of it. <laughs> you can't say you can't say bitch. You can't just say nah. bitch. You got you got to either be a female or you got to be a bad bitch. <laughs> you know what yeah. I'm saying? You can't you can't, be, you can't just be that one. Oh, you ever seen that skit? Um, uh, the Key and Pill joint where they uh they was, they with their wives and they like walk around the house and they was like, yeah. She told me pick my clothes up on the floor and I said they look around like this and be like. 
I said, bitch. <laughs> and he was like, you said that? And he was like, yeah. <laughs> Yo, Keith, that's my shit right there. But it's like, I guess, like, if you got to actually, like, as a white person, right? If you got, if you sit there and you, or if you having a conversation with a black person, or you just having a conversation amongst yourself, and you and you ask like, why can't I say the n word, right? You already answer, you already answer the question yourself because you couldn't even say the n word. You couldn't even say nigga when you ask me why can't you say nigga, right? And don't make exactly. it, and don't make it an excuse, right? Don't. Don't use rap music as an excuse. They said why, enough when we were slaves. Oh, why? You're right. Oh, why you use Eminem it? Wanted, Eminem could probably go down in the Hip Hop Hall of Fame, and I ain't never heard the Never heard of him word. say it, right? Yeah. And, 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 and that's an excuse. And he definitely invited to the cookout. Oh, already. <laughs> but it's like, that's an excuse people use, but it's like, we... Us growing up and wearing our parents, you know what I'm saying? Especially with the music that we listen to, we knew how to blur out cuss words when as, as when we was younger trying to wrap it around older folks because we knew we was going to get our ass beat if we said it <laughs> at, at the time That's... so it's like you do what you want like you can you can control all that shit and like what Ford was saying right it's like people be like well I don't I don't say it you sometimes you see white people that say I don't say it in public I, I you know sometimes I do say it listen to music blah 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 but it's like, you know, you have those, what's the words, like, one word before just mentioned, like, cracker, or, what's the other word? With honky. That's oh, the, yeah. Ain't nobody like, going around saying that no more. <laughs> but, it's like, but it's like, you know, with those words, right, no one, no one says that just for fun. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's not in our vocabulary. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? Nobody just be like, look at that, look at that cracker right there. No. Like, but, Y'all always go around, nigga, 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 and oh, when that Chris Brown and Lil Dicky, oh my God, Long Wood was about to shut the fuck down. When really, nigga, I'm gonna end it on that. We're gonna move. Hey, on. But you know what? <laughs> First of all, I can hold you. I love Lil Dicky. No, that's my shit. That, that boy is hilarious. But you also have to notice in that song Freaky Friday, it was Chris saying. Brown saying. Chris Brown said it. Yeah. It wasn't Lil Dicky saying, "Lil," and, and I get the whole premise with that Lil Dicky was in Chris Brown body, but y'all are intelligent to know that ain't nobody switching bodies around here. So it was Chris Brown See, saying it the whole time. That's that's your problem right there. You're giving them too much credit. They're not. Oh, but they're intelligent. They're not that. They're, they're, they're this not has that been bright. another episode of <laughs> Offensive <laughs> Bullets. They're, <laughs> <not that, laughs> they're not that bright. Honestly, I mean, if we won't be real, nah, man, people. Nah, nah, off the rip, off the rip. Nah, I, I'm gonna tell you right now. I think they, I think that they. It's a, it's a manipulation thing, yeah. And I think I think it, what it is, it's a control power thing too. It's it goes back one to race. thing. Yeah. It's the it's because y'all entitled. Y'all think y'all supposed to do everything that we do, or we you think you're supposed to get everything that we get? No, no, it's not the same. Just stay in your lane, bro. It ain't that hard. It's it's really not that hard. Like we don't we don't even use the n word as much as y'all think we do. Y'all hear it nope. in the rap song, and we don't even be dropping it like that. So we what, don't so even call each other the world? nigga. <laughs> yeah, like what my nigga just says. <laughs> <laughs> they always, not even that, only, bro. Look, only, honestly, bro, I think the only time like I really use nigga is like if I gotta tell y'all some juicy shit. I'll be like, Yo, nigga, uh, like nigga, <laughs> I got some shit to tell. Or, or if someone being ignorant, be like this nigga, this nigga, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this nigga. <laughs> But with that being said, bro, it's like it's not even that deep. Bro. Y'all already got everything that we could ever hope to have, bro. Y'all got the money. Y'all got the control. Y'all got the power. If y'all trade all that for the N-word, y'all can have it. Hey, you could. Hey, that, you can answer this question. Hey, another- you can answer this question now, or we could save it for for another episode. You say you well, saying that you saying that they got all this right. What uh-huh. is Name two, three things in their culture that's theirs. Oh, whoo! It's been another episode of Offensive Brothers because we're gonna end it on that. So we 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 gonna move into our last segment. Because, of this mm-hmm. because last, you're right, there. You're right. We're gonna move yeah. into our last episode. Uh, 
last segment. They stole that just like no, they stole I us. Back. I take that back. I take that back. I take that back. They got that one fire song, making my way downtown, walking <laughs> fast. Man. That joint is fire. Hey, and you got a couple. Uh, I got one. Got thing. a couple hits. I got one thing. That I, that's the only one thing though. Unseasoned food. Um, but we're gonna move into our last segment of this episode. No cap. And um, <laughs> so, um, you want to start us off? <laughs> I see the shirt. Yeah. Y'all know what the fuck going. <laughs> you know the fuck going. On, man. <laughs> you know the fuck going oh, on, though. I don't know what two and four boy, did boy, before boy. we got one. You know but the- I am here for <laughs> boy, y'all. It's no rent. I love it. Oh, oh man! Oh, hey. oh, what the fuck going on? Hey. Hey, look, I told hey, you, I don't know, but, hey, but I told but, you, I'm coming with it. My, my step mama, she white, but she 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 cook like a black person, though. She be seeding that food. <laughs> well, I ain't gonna hold you, though. I, I, I yeah. ain't gonna hold you. I've had some good cooking for some white people. That's no cap, yeah, yeah. but but I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it on. <laughs> but, but majority <laughs> of them, though, majority. Oh, oh, <laughs> Joe, go. Joe, mm-hmm. go. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> uh, uh, my no cap. Uh, yo, no cap. Uh, if you live in VA, uh, show up at the polls. I know some of y'all probably don't know it, but voting takes place Tuesday, um, the eighth. Sorry, my ear was itching. Takes place Tuesday the eighth, bro. Uh, go out there, do a little research tonight if you got to. Well, I ain't gonna you see this. I about to say, I ain't gonna cap to you. <laughs> but, um, I about to say, yeah. That, that I was, was like, time this release. <laughs> that was. I was fuck forgot it, y'all. Fuck well, promoted, uh, no cap. Uh, they're promoted. It's education. Uh, it's education. Uh, no cap. I hope y'all voted. I hope y'all um, put it out there that y'all you know did y'all thing and everything like that at the polls. Um, if you don't know. Uh, even if you missed it and you're watching the podcast and you want to know, uh, these elections are more important than the presidential ones, no cap, because these will represent you and your local government. It represents you as a constituent, like everything like that. Like these are the, this is the time that y'all should vote the most. Like presidential, yeah, it's very important, but like lieutenant governors and governors and all that stuff, bro, for Senate seats and everything like that, it's very important that y'all show up at the polls um and that y'all show out so by the time y'all see this you know it's it's already gonna be passed but i hope y'all voted i hope y'all and if you didn't vote this year i hope you plan to vote next year so that's my no cap what you got for it no cap salt and pepper is not seasoning it's just flavor enhancers for you majority folks that you know don't season your food you know what i'm talking about you're just talking about it okay i'm done <laughs> I'm over it. I'm over it. What the fuck? <laughs> Look, I thought I was going to be the most ignorant one on this episode. <laughs> but I guess I was wrong. What this, y'all I don't know. I'm a, he, he over it. <laughs> I, can, I can't leave because I'm the fucking host, but <laughs> this nigga here, man. Nah, before, before I get into my no cap, right? Before I get into my no cap, um, I did want to mention that it is... <clears throat> It is a uh, Pride Month, you know. So happy Pride Month to people, you know what I'm saying? God bless y'all. Shout out, you know. Shout out to shout out to the LGBTQ uh, community, uh, but it's just shout out to the people that are just living in their truth, um, living unapologetically. You know what I'm saying? Um, love is love. Don't love is love. Don't care about what other people got to say about you, and just be yourself, no matter what. You know, forget what anybody else got to say, whatever. But my no cap is that's the people that pay the way facts for those people to be free. Yep, yep. Go ahead. facts. Oh, um, <clears throat> but my no cap is people, it is 2021. 20, if you still oh, copying and yeah. pasting viral tweets or statuses, I can't take you seriously. Do you not uh, know? I agree with that. Do you like? Is you really want attention that much that you did not think that we didn't 
we didn't see you take this tweet <laughs> or, or, or the status from somebody else. Like you really like you you on your you on your soldier boy shit. You really stole that whole fucking that man flow word for word, bar for bar. <laughs> like <laughs> you, you, you stepping on toes. I used to do this shit in high school. <laughs> like <laughs> it kind of it kind of it, it kind of tells me that y'all didn't it kind of tells me that y'all didn't do that that good in English, right? Because in English I didn't got, in, in, see <laughs> more proven, right? <laughs> in, in English, you gotta you gotta uh you gotta cite your sources. We know where the fuck that status came from. You can't just copy and paste the shit and and, and make it yours. Nigga, we seen this. I done pissed some shit on Twitter, uh, Twitter the other day because y'all some stole some shit. It was the exact same words right under each other, exact same picture and everything. I'm like, I got a question. I got, a, I got a question. I got a question. What now, me? when you say site, do you want in MLA format or APA format? You know what? I'm gonna go with MLA. <laughs> I'm, gonna go with M- I'm gonna go with MLA. APA, <laughs> APA can be good. <laughs> APA can be good too. But just yeah, so AP, I'm gonna say AP, 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 don't stuff. use it my no Just more. just share the shit. I want you you taking you taking all that time. Just share the shit. Just hit the retweet. Bro, button. just just hit, just the, hit the quote tweet. If you want, if you want to be, if you want to <laughs> piggyback off someone else's success, just hit the quote tweet, bro. That's what I do. Oh, Go just and, 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 and keep it and keep it and keeping uh keeping it on social media. I I put this on my status uh, the other day. If you're on Facebook, because you only see it on Facebook. Oh, if you if you don't made two, three Facebook pages, I'm not adding you no more. Yeah. Don't keep mm-hmm. adding me. Don't keep making Facebook yeah. pages and mm-hmm. adding me. No, it is mm-hmm. definitely a sign from God well, you... saying that you don't need the shit. <laughs> you don't need the shit. You got well, you keep... forgot your password. That mm-hmm. bullshit. That shit says forget password, <laughs> and you, they gonna send you another mm-hmm. email, and you can reset that bitch. Niggas be lying, man. Niggas <laughs> dumb. Niggas dumb. I'm using the N word, people. Niggas <laughs> dumb. <laughs> but with that, we got the brothers. brothers. Thank y'all for always supporting Ooh. us. You know what I'm saying? Especially the people that uh, brought recent shirts that we. Uh, we finna get canceled. Uh, fuck that. They can't cancel. <laughs> um, but, anyways. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow us on social. <laughs> Make sure y'all follow us on social media: Facebook, Unfit the Brothers, Twitter, Unfit the Bros, Instagram, Unfit the Brothers Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel, and y'all can listen to our regular podcast on pretty much any platform that you listen to podcasts on. But with that, y'all stay blessed, y'all stay safe, y'all continue to season your chicken, and we out here. <laughs> Peace. Peace. <laughs>